Hi folks, it's Nick here and we're on the ZX Spectrum looking at a rather ambitious game for 1983. It's 3D Pac-Man published by Freddy Christensen. Excellent stuff. Now it's based on, loosely, Pac-Man from the arcades by Namco, which is uh, 1980. Other Pac-Man games would have come out later on on the ZX Spectrum. Uh, Pac-Man in 84 by Atari Soft, Miss Pac-Man, the same year by Atari Soft, and Pac-Mania, which is a, a 3D maze game in 1988 by Grand Slam Entertainments. We're going to use the Kempston joystick here. Let's see what 3D uh, Pac-Man has to offer. As you can see, we're in a maze, a uh, first-person view. We have to collect 100 and well, 155 pills now going down. The first maze, there's no ghosts, but essentially we just need to find all the pills. Got it? Good. So it's quite a fast-moving maze game, and I'm really uh, impressed by the way it updates. You've got a radar down the left, which is supposed to help you a little bit to navigate where you are in the maze, but it won't tell you how many pills are left over, which is rather unfortunate. There are power pills as well, because after stage one, there will be a ghost in the maze, there's a power pill there, and you must avoid the ghost as well, which you can also see on the scanner. So this is the best maze-like first-person game I've ever seen on the ZX Spectrum. Uh, first of all, I think we did try, was it 3D Monster Maze we tried uh, quite a while back, but this is Pac-Man in a 3D environment, and I would have been absolutely blown away by this one as a kid. So let's just see if we can find all the pills in this place. It's good that it doesn't start off with ghosts in the maze straight away, so it gives you a bit of a chance to get used to it. And the problem with a lot of Spectrum games which turned kids off was the difficulty straight away was so, so high. This one gradually moves you in, and uh, as a kid your imagination would have taken you on adventures as well. I like the way the maze is various different colours, so you've got a bit of an idea if you've been here before or not, so it gives you half a chance. Blue walls, magenta walls, green walls and red walls. How many we got left over? 57, you can see pills there in the middle. Condition is green, that will go to red when a ghost is hot on our tail. We've got a certain amount of lives, I think about three lives there, and um, if we lose all them, we are dead. Now it's gonna get a bit annoying finding the last few pills, I think. They're going around in a maze like this trying to find the last one, but it's pretty special, this one. You might disagree, uh, but for a nostalgia fest, if you had this back in the day, you would have loved it. Um, I've only just recently found out about it. I don't think it's licensed Pac-Man, because Pac-Man, you notice, doesn't uh, feature at all, because you're looking through Pac-Man's eyes. So if you was a big Pac-Man creature, this is what you would see. This is what Pac-Man's view of the whole thing is. Right, 27 pills, where are they? They must be around here somewhere. Look on the radar there, on the left. Uh, you can see a little dot going round. That is me. Would have liked to have seen a bit of an indication of the maze itself there, but uh, you can't have everything. In the uh, right there, you can see the direction you're going in, which is sort of helpful. Um, right. Now, my worry is I'm not even going to get off level one, so I won't be able to show you the ghost. But I'll have a good go to try and do that. It's all been controlled on the joystick, this. And it does move quite well. Left and right to have a look in every direction. 15 pills left. Mm, it could be a time for us sometime later. Oh, there's some. Let's go up there. Right, so 10 left. Come on, Nick. You can do this thing. Um, so it's not really a traditional Pac-Man game. Do have a look at uh, the Pac-Man and Miss Pac-Man I reviewed from 84 on the Spectrum. And Pac-Mania was probably my favourite Pac-Man game of all time by Grand Slam Entertainments. Reviewed that on the Spectrum and the Commodore Amiga. I played it loads on the Commodore Amiga back in the day. Not quite the Spectrum, but the Spectrum version holds up quite well as well. Um, you know, the only bad Pac-Man game I've ever come across is Pac-Land, where it takes him away from the maze, which we've also reviewed. Now, where are these pills? If, if you see them, let me know. Going down a corridor. There should, should be more games like this, I think. Renders really fast, if rendering is the right word for the ZX Spectrum. What is your favourite maze game? My favourite top-down maze game on the ZX Spectrum would have to be Maziacs. I really love that one. But I'm a sucker for these sort of games. Good stuff. There is a demo, a modern-day demo of Doom, which is in a maze. I'll have to try and track that down sometime. I don't think it's the full game. I think it's just the demo. But this, remember, look at this. You're looking at this. This is 1983, folks. 
absolutely outstanding for the time. Good stuff. It's not just a, a white and black maze. It's different colours, all shaded well. And I'm jabbering on and um, there's no pills about. Oh, where are they? We're totally lost. We're, we're in the bottom uh, right of the maze now. I'm sure we've missed um, some out here. We're going to find them by fluke. Right, green maze. I don't think we've been here before, have we? Or maybe I'm just getting uh, forgetting stuff in my old age. Oh, there we go. Good. Is this all of them now? It's five, five, mm, there's five... Five pills somewhere. Yeah, no music in this. It's all ghostly quiet, apart from when the ghost turns up or you die. Hey, we've done it! By Jingo, we're gonna see a maze with a ghost in. Right now, look at the radar. There's an. I'm the big black dot on the left. There's another dot on the right. That is the ghost. He will come after us. If we complete this level, there'll be another level with an extra ghost on. Right. So we need to keep out of his way and get all the pills. So it's getting extra difficult as we go through. Uh, the Pac-Man can't jump. Uh, that was that a film, or was that white man can't jump? Well, I don't want to go racist on you, but let's just continue on. Oh, code red. There's the ghost, and evil he looks. And you, you saw him briefly. He killed us. Right. Okay. So we need to keep away from him. Lives left two. C condition green. That means we're away from the ghost. So you've got the general idea. So if you've got a a uh, spectrum loaded up or emulator, I uh, prefer a real machine, but if you've got the emulator, then go uh, try and track this one down. This has been played on emulation for recording purposes. I don't have a physical copy of this game. Okay, right. Condition blue. That means we're as far away from him as we can possibly get. Might go to condition green soon. Right, so we've got 84 pills left, as that say. I think I might need glasses soon. Too many years sta staring at the screen playing too many retro games. But you know, if you're going to destroy your eyesight, that's probably a good way of doing it. Have a bit of fun. Oh, a blue ghost. He was green last time. Right, okay. Didn't seem to lose a life there. Don't know why. So keep your wits about you. There's no time limit on this. You can take as long as you want, within reason. Uh, don't starve yourself or anything. Right, this is going well. Could we get off level two? 54 pills. There's a power pill. I really want to wait for the ghost to turn up to see if I can kill him and get the uh, thing at the same time. But I think I kind of know what sound effect will happen if that occurs. So what do you think of this game? Do you think it's good? Do you think it's a marvel? Do you think it's great coding? Or do you think it's a bit bland or boring? I, I think it's great. Different colours. Um, updates fast. Um, it's Pac-Man. A fast-moving maze environment doesn't seem to muck up at all. Uh, gentle learning curve to get into the game. It controls really well. There's not much not to like about it. If you don't like maze games and you're getting a bit claustrophobic, then yeah, you probably won't like it. Uh, right, okay. Points are going well. 37. No, the ghost is miles away. Right, okay. Come on. We can do this thing in great Pac-Man style. I think if I could have any arcade game, I think you'd have to. I'd have to pick um, the original Pac-Man uh, by Namco in 1980. It's come out on actually everything. I got it on my phone. Uh, I don't think I got it on PlayStation 4 actually, but you know, I think I got it on PlayStation 1 somewhere on some sort of uh, arcade compilation, perhaps. A very addictive game, and I like that there's lots of different versions about it. Uh, as I say, 1983, Freddie Christensen, don't think he had an official license, but it's back in the day where you could get away with this sort of thing. Early Spectrum days, early 80s. Did I just lose a life then? Anyway, co-condition green. Have we been here before? I am totally and utterly lost. I suppose you should use the radar really, clear clear it off in quarters, the left, the left, the right tops, then the left and the right bottoms, that probably is a good strategy for doing things. There's 27 pills somewhere in this maze. God knows where they are. Um, yeah. Du -du -du. Will this be good online with lots of different Pac-Men? And you have to get the most pills you possibly can. I always wanted a game in Pac-Man where I can control the ghosts. And I was trying to kill Pac-Man. Is there a game like that? I don't think there is. If there is, let me know. Or if you're a coder, maybe you can code Ghost Man. And it's the idea is you can try a ghost to try and stop Pac-Man from eating all the pills in the maze. 19 left, 18 left. Oh man. I'll definitely review that if you do do that game. But make sure it's decent though, because I don't want to give you a bad review, because, uh, well. 
that wouldn't be very nice. But I, I'd have to if it was bad. <laughs> Unless it was deliberately bad, then it wouldn't be so uh, so awful. Right, ten pills left. Where are they? The ghost is nowhere inside. Well, that's a lie. He's inside, but he's not near us. He's just wandering around at random. Uh, they don't chase you like the other Pac-Man games. Okay, could easily have been a different game other than Pac-Man. I think they might have coded this maze and thought, what else can we do? Let's put pills in it and call it Pac-Man. Ten left. Where are they? Hmm, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Um, condition green still. Not time to step up to red alert. There's not a ghost on our towel. I don't think this ghost has got a name like the Pac-Man games. They're Pinky Binky and the other ones. Clyde, was he one? Pinky was. Um, yeah, I might have a cushion with Clyde on actually. Was he the orange one? I think he might have been. Uh, yes. There's a sense of ominous, ominous this ominous yeah where um, some sort of Jason Voorhees can jump out or you can get stabbed by that person uh, from the psycho films Norman Bates I don't think Norman Bates is here this Pac-Man certainly moves fast he keeps fit despite his awful diet he's a pill popper uh, and I don't advise this at home oh, I'm not gonna find these ten last pills am I having said that um, you can't look up or down in this one it's just a set view so it looks like Pac-Man's always glancing gradually, uh, slightly slanted at the floor, looking for food the whole time. He's going to catch up with him eventually. He's going to turn into maybe a fat Elvis Presley. Thank you very much. Right, we're miles away from the goat. We might have to abort this soon if I don't find the exit. Maybe we should hunt down the ghost, eh? Maybe just track him out, see what how his life's going. We're both stuck in the maze, so we got that in common. And there's no way of escaping. Maybe we should be buddies and find a way out of here. Or maybe we should just go around killing each other. Um, they just can't get on, can they? They're like Cain and Abel. Maybe they are brothers after all. Nick, what are you talking about? You're rambling on. And uh, if you're walking around a maze, uh, you've got to ramble on about something, haven't you? Otherwise, you'd go insane. In the, yeah, you might go insane. Uh, hmm. I feel like the Jaws music is going to start in a minute. Da -da -da -da. There we go. Is that it? Oh, that was, that was always it then. Did I just get tagged by the ghost? Six pills. How do I get back there again? Oh, six left. Come on. It should be like golf. And if the ball's near the hole, the other player can say, oh, you don't have to putt that. You'll get that anyway. Oh, ghosty. Game over, that's going to say, isn't it? Some speech, I think. Game over. Hooray. 1983. More speech? Perfecto! I love that. I love a game with speech in it, and I love the way that laser beam thing actually drew the um, the uh, great score and thingamajig. Right, we put in my name here. Um, oh, you have to go right round. I, I'm not sure about this. N, N, oh, let's just put any old letter. N, 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 B, A, B, C, T. Excellent stuff. Well, I hope you liked having a look at that one. I was really impressed by it. I liked it. Uh, 3D Pac-Man on the ZX Spectrum 48K, published by Freddie Christensen in 83, and based loosely on the arcade carried by Nanko from 1980. Thanks for watching, as always. Got any comments about this game, about any of the questions I asked in that, then please put your thoughts below. Until next time, take great, great care of yourself, and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.